And also remember, don't believe what we say in this video. This video is all for entertainment purposes. A corrupt government cannot liberate the people. If the head of the stream is corrupt, the entire river will be also. Man, listen, when I saw this right here, <clears throat> when I heard this right here, kind of hit different, you know? There's a natural flow of yeast on the inside of the human heart. They become lifted up. They became, become elevated. For the Christian, you will always find it's the jobless Christian crying out to God and fasting for 40 days in a row for a job god will give you the job you start working at the job you will still remember to fast you will still keep bible study you will still keep church promotion will come that promotion is from god you will still keep church you will still keep fasting you will still keep bible promotion will come because god is faithful he rewards the righteous and gives them their due as you climb the ladder then it becomes i don't need to go to first service so when you were broke and eating sawdust and pain you were always there for the 7 a.m. service. But now that you're Mr. Prada suits, Gucci shoes, now you're going to the 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock because you want to sleep in. You're not going to get that early wine from the Lord anymore. Then Bible study is being skipped. Then Bible reading is being skipped. Because now, no, we're, we're having after work drinks and stuff like that. Nobody is saying that you can't do those things. But the minute you begin to deprioritize God, just ask yourself what, what he's thinking because he's always there. He will go with you to the after work drinks. He goes with you everywhere. He's a constant. He's more than the line of the sky. The sky is across the world and sees everything that we do. God is even more than that. He's even more present than the sky that is above all men. You deprioritize him because that is what the yeast tells you to do. And once Satan begins to see that white crust upon your heart, he will go, just like a small piece of coal that gets the red that tells you that little piece has caught and you want it to spread, gentle breaths until the whole heart is filled with the inflammation of sin. There's a natural flow. Oh, listen. 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 Boy. That boy, man, that was powerful, boy. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Mm -mm -mm. This one is pretty good, too. Why do you believe it's so easy today to use fear mm -hmm. to program us into being these docile, controlled? It seems like zombies that end up attacking each other and they, we end up doing the work for them. Yes. So they don't even have to attack us. Mm -hmm. And so why do you think it's so easy for, for that to happen these days? Psychologically, uh, first thing we have to remember is we are at war. Now, this is a thing that I, I have to always highlight for the people. Just because things look calm in your apartment, yep. your house on your block, just because everything feels good for the moment does not mean that there is not an active war going on right now. Yeah. The war of information is the biggest as of right now. Yeah. Billions of dollars are poured into psychologists in the Department of Defense, the Department of Education, all of these departments. The primary area is psychologists yeah. who they use to map out patterns, study those patterns, remove what didn't work, keep adding on what did work, wash, rinse and repeat and yeah. continue to do that to indoctrinate the masses over and over again. So what they're looking at is if we use fear. One we know that chemically has certain chemicals that mix from the brain into the rest of the body. If you get a person to be afraid, you can hypnotize them. You can install command phrases. You can, it's, I mean, essentially it's actually what the CIA does, something called PDH, pain drug hypnosis, yep. where they physically induce pain, they drug you, then they hypnotize you. Okay? So you need all those ingredients. They studied this. They did it with Adolf Hitler. Back then they did it with the U.S. military. They, they are very good. <laughs> at hypnotizing the right. people. So they studied that and they said, well, if we have the access to the minds of the people, we use certain colors, we use certain tones, music, etc., and we inject ideas. Yeah. So they're using these phones, which we all now have, and they're injecting these ideas. Mm. You're going to die. You're going to die. Don't you want to see your parents? Don't you want to be around your grandparents? Right. Don't you want to see your children live? Mm. Come on now. What's wrong with you? I mean, you got to do this. Come on now. Be a hero. Be a hero. And they keep doing that. And as you said, it then becomes self-perpetuating. Mm. Yep. What I noticed is Joseph Goebbels, who was the senior propagandist under Adolf Hitler. He said, quote, 
If you tell a lie big enough, long enough, and make it perpetual, people will come to believe it. Mm. End quote. It became something known as the big lie. So the U.S. government continues to say, safe and effective, safe and effective. COVID killed this many people. This virus is coming. Get prepared for this long winter. You mm-hmm. got to get your shots. You got to mm-hmm. get your shots. Yep. And they keep repeating it, repeating it, repeating because mm-hmm. repetition, one, is the first law of learning, but two, repetition is also a command installment mechanism. Yeah. So you got to keep repeating whatever it is. And so the people, if they are weak mentally, they're going to succumb to Talk it. The to mind it. is very weak after a while. And mm-hmm. the people are becoming victims of being weak-minded. They don't read. They don't study. They do not exercise mental calisthenics, yeah. even though we do physical. Yeah. So they have to get into that position where they have to realize, I have to sharpen this mm-hmm. and build the mental muscle in order for me to fight this enemy. So that, that's why, again, they use fear because it's very effective. And as Minister Farrakhan and our brother Nuri have said, Fear is an acronym which stands for false evidence appearing real. Real. Mm -hmm. So they make you believe that if you do not do this, this will be the negative outcome. When in reality, nine times out of ten, it's the total opposite. Why do you believe it's so easy today to use fear? Come on now. Come on now. (laughs) 